Hello, hello, and welcome to episode number 39 of Occupy Mars. It's been a little while since I've played, and I'll admit that on myself. I have been away for a little bit, and I've had to do a whole bunch of recording beforehand. So you might be wondering, why is he going over this now, and he's already put out you know, two, three episodes? Well, that, that's why. But there's a new update. I'm hoping to get into it later in this episode. It might be a little bit shorter of an actual gameplay and more of a discussion episode, but yeah, uh, do, 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 September 3rd. Now I'm not sure if I want, I think I don't have this one. Oh no, I do, but I'd like to go over it nonetheless. I did record with this update, but I'd like to go over it, yeah. So technology expansion, so let's just read this through. Thank you for playing the exploration update and for all the feedback. We really appreciate your guidance and suggestions which help us further develop this early access. With the recent major update, we've fulfilled many of the Kickstarter stretch goals and we've prepared the game core to allow easier updates in the future. So the goals fulfilled so far are the early launch, access launch pad, technology expansion, added the wind turbines, that one I know is new, added the heavy suit, I know that one's new, Add the motocross, that's also new. Add the Mars truck is new. New semi truck trailers are new. And the workshop battery charger, fuse box, and sink are new. And it says a whole bunch of stuff about feedback. So balance and quality of life improvements. Uh, do, do, do. Sorry, I read this in my head. I haven't read this yet. So we're starting, we're going to release this. They're going to release a series of patches and hotfixes to address uh, some common stuff. There's some performance optimization and some technological improvements. There's now co-op mode, apparently. And additional stuff. Uh, after solving the most important bottlenecks from this, we will turn our content update among which we will have. So these are planned things, construction, vertical construction, grid building, decoration system, and furniture. Cool. I hope, I can't wait to get some robotics done. That'll be awesome. Uh, chem lab. This needs to be brought in. This, this needs to be brought in massively. And then nuclear stuff, which will be cool as well. And it'll make power a lot easier. And this is just a whole bunch of thanks stuff. But I'm pretty sure we saw some of that uh, at least in the last episode. So, uh, this is then the most recent one. Actually, no, there's it's a few. This is the sixth. So Dear Martians, thank you for playing the exploration update. We've developed a patch here and public testing. Added water and oxygen bottles in the tech tree. So that's nice because you could get, you got one water, no, sorry, you got, yeah, you got one water, one oxygen. And when you built the Mars, uh, the large rover, you got two more of each, which was nice, but sometimes it was a little bit painful. You can also find water and oxygen bottles in loot. Change the repair kit place in the tech tree. I hope you don't have to re-research that. Improve tech tree points notification and increase the tools. Oh yeah, they added tools durability. Forgot about that, I read that earlier. So there's a whole bunch of bug fixes here. Uh, I'll let, I'm gonna let you guys read that if you want, but. I saw something. ECU showing wrong solar panels. Okay. When you drive it to the trailer, it will connect to the front. Interesting. Some problems I've never experienced. So you might feel under that that's a problem, but oh well. Uh, September the 18th then. So they fixed a oh, uh, do, do thanks for playing. There we go. This is public testing, so they fixed a bunch of stuff. Like, they fixed a lot. So here, I'll let you guys... Oh, gosh. <laughs> One moment, please. They fixed a bunch of stuff. I will fix this in two seconds. Sorry about that. My game likes doing some weird things sometimes. So, they fixed a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, do, do, do. I'm just trying to see if there's anything major. Too many batteries on tourist mode, interesting. Is 
they fix the balance of some stuff. And they added extra references into the games. So yeah, this is just a huge, this is a patch note, but they, they do pat, uh, fix a bunch of stuff and it's amazing to see. And this update, do, 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 which came out October the 2nd, uh, DevBlog75. Uh, did you do one of the issues you pointed out was the slow charging of vehicles? Yes, that was major. We addressed this problem making the charging progress. Additionally, we have resolved the issue with loot tables, which caused difficulties in long campaigns and resulted in a lack of seed magazines in abandoned bases. Interesting. So they fixed the slow charging. They fixed with the problem with two big rover damage when hitting sand dunes and moving on rough terrain. I never noticed that, but apparently that's a thing. And they fixed some of the loot stuff, I guess. And they get fixed a whole bunch of stuff. And they added some stuff. I think these are the same, might be some of the same notes. Stuck during sleeping, I noticed, sometimes in the uh, large rover. So that's nice that they fixed that. And this, oh, maybe not. Uh, this was posted the 5th. Uh, do Thank you. Beta tab and use previous. This is just for the previous updates. Awesome. And then October 3rd to 10th, programmer sale. So, there's some stuff on sale here. Uh, not sure. But there's a sale. Uh, when this goes out, it probably will be over, so my apologies. But that's there. So, now, the moment y'all have been waiting for, uh, actually, we're not going to jump in quite yet. We're going to say, we've done a few of the achievements. So, we got a few more achievements to go. But, you know, in case any of you are wondering.